Well, the term fake news has been bandied around by leaders from US President Trump to Philippine leader Rodrigo Duterte. Well, now the Malaysian government, led by Prime Minister Najib Razak, is proposing a new anti-fake news bill, which could land people six years in jail. But some in the media industry are worried about what the law could be used for. So, what are their concerns? To tell us all about it, CNN's Mark Lourdes uh, joins us now. Uh, Mark, tell me, how do the Malays that you know feel about this anti-fake uh, news law that's been proposed, which will give the government sweeping powers to imprison those deemed guilty of creating or spreading fake news? Well, Anna, the big concern around this new bill that's been proposed is the fact that the phrase fake news has a very broad definition. So because the bill doesn't go into detail about what fake news is, um, it leaves a lot open to interpretation and the fear is that fake news will be what the government deems it to be. Um, in fact, just uh, last week, a uh, deputy minister in Najib's government said that um, the 1MDB investigation, any news on it would be considered fake if it's not verified by the government. So there's deep concern about potential misuse of this law um, to stifle dissent and free speech. Well, as you mentioned, the, the Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak uh, has been plagued by a years-long uh, financial scandal where he's been accused of misappropriating billions of dollars. So why is he doing this now? Well, there are elections around the corner and um, a lot of the people that I spoke to in Malaysia have said that the timing of the tabling of the bill in Parliament is very close to the election season. And if you look at, at the whole fake news um, dilemma and you see how Malaysia has been doing it, it seems like it's, being, it's coming out at a time that's very close to the elections and there are fears that this could lead to um, a stifling of opposition parties, of people um, campaigning on the political trail to stop them from speaking out about things that the current government would not want them to speak about. And Mark, as we know, the term fake news, it's been coined by uh, President Trump and seems to have caught on, certainly for some leaders uh, here in Asia, they've jumped on that bandwagon. Is there a frightening trend occurring here? Well, if you look at Southeast Asia, I mean, the, the phrase fake news has caught on in the worst possible manner. You see the Myanmar government using fake news to describe a lot of the international coverage about the Rohingya crisis. Um, over in Cambodia, President Hun Sen has slammed a lot of the media, calling them fake news as well. Um, and in the Philippines, of course, President Duterte has um, used the term to describe the coverage of Rappler, among others. And the similarity between all of this is that, just like President Donald Trump, these leaders are using that phrase not to describe actual fake news, the kind that's produced in a Macedonian content factory, but more news that they don't agree with. So that is a huge concern in this part of the world and in this region.